Here's a poem called Eating Together, which surprised me in its making because I started out by paying attention to what was there in front of me, the physical world, but the poem insisted on making its own turn toward uh, somebody who isn't there, the absent one. Eating Together In the steamer is the trout, seasoned with slivers of ginger, two sprigs of green onion, and sesame oil. We shall eat it with rice for lunch, brothers, sister, my mother, who will taste the sweetest meat of the head, holding it between her fingers deftly, the way my father did weeks ago. Then he lay down to sleep like a snow-covered road, winding through pines older than him, without any travelers, and lonely for no one.